let me show you how you can create would you rather game inside your powerpoint so first we need to insert a text with the question let's select the text and make it more interesting by editing the fonts color and size all right now it's time to prepare a space for an answer i'm going to insert the shape let's select this block arrow this way you can inform your audience that they may need to raise the right arm or move to the right side of the room whatever way you want them to use to communicate that they select this option all right so that's what be this blog with this little arrow on the right side that would be one answer let's first scale it exactly as we need all right a bit too large this one is perfect now we can select a new color for it then we can double tap to type some kind of option for this block now we can select that statement and also edit the font to be way larger now i can simply duplicate the whole thing by command c command v or control c control v drag the duplicate to the right side and drag it over so we can make the arrow appear on the left just like that we will need a new color to distinguish those two options. All right, keep in mind you can always reduce the size of the font if you got longer statement or you want to put some image in it, right? To make it more attractive. Now we need a final touch. We need or between those two options. So again, let's insert a shape. where we can just type or double tap all right and this way we create a nice and easy to use template for would you rather game you can prepare a piece of paper of blue and violet color you can tell your audience to move to the right side of the room, left side of the room, rise, the, rise up the right hand or left hand. That's all up to you. To use this template, you can simply now right click and duplicate the very same slide that's all set up. And then just simply change the content of options A and B. As the finishing touch, let's add some interesting animation to it. So when the slide appears, it will be a bit more attractive and it's appear one by one so we can see first option and then second option a bit easier to read all right so let's add animation this will be pick in from the right and this guy will pick in from the left I want this to trigger automatically when we open up the slide. So the first animation will play after previous and the second one. And it will take like one second. And the second one will play after previous and will take one second. And that's really it. Let's duplicate this so we can also test some transitions. All right, now we can go to transitions and we can select the one that will play between those slides. 
normally I advise to stay kind of minimalist with transitions, but if you play this kind of game, you can finally go a bit crazy. So let's go with something really, really interesting, like uh, maybe the fracture here. So the whole screen will crack just like that. I'll apply this to all of three of my slides and now we can finally test out this template. First option, second option. Now you wait for your audience response and then you click your mouse to move to the next slide. Crack. We got first option and second option. Crack from the center, first option, second option. It's really a simple game and easy to use template. By the way, like always, I would drop a link in the description so you can simply download this template and copy and paste those slides into your presentation. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next tutorial.